Let's review some basic properties of fractions. The zero property states that for any non-zero b, zero over b equals zero. In other words, when the numerator is zero and the denominator is non-zero, the fraction equals zero. For example, zero over five equals zero. Similarly, zero over negative seven equals zero. But nine over zero is undefined. Remember that zero has no reciprocal, so division by zero is always undefined. Zero over zero is called indeterminate or is also undefined. When the denominator is zero, the fraction is undefined regardless of the value of the numerator. The identity property states that for any non-zero a, a over a equals one. For example, two over two equals one. Also, negative seven over negative seven equals one. Any time the numerator and denominator are equal and non-zero, the fraction is one. So a plus b over a plus b equals one. Similarly, x plus y over y plus x equals one. Since x plus y equals y plus x, by the commutativity of addition. To simplify fractions, we factor and cancel. The fraction simplification property states that for non-zero a, ab over ac simplifies to b over c. For example, 6 twelfths can be rewritten as 6 times 1 over 6 times 2, then the 6 over 6 reduces and we get 1 half. For 24 over 36, we can prime factor the numerator and denominator, writing 24 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and 36 equal 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, we can cancel two twos and one three to get two thirds. Let's consider 28 xy squared over 35 x squared y. Factoring the numerator and denominator, we see that we can cancel 7, x, and y, producing 4y over 5x.